lockdown. The only time I hear lockdown is when there's a shooter. And yes, there was a shooter. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Hey guys. It's Yes TV and yes, I do I did put um I did that. It's Christmas tree, if you didn't know. So today I'm gonna be telling you guys a story time about Noel Night. It was really scary, but Noel Night's all about Christmas. I'm all about Christmas. Um, Jasper's all about Christmas. We all about Christmas, unless you're like Jewish. But you're all about the holidays, right? Unless you don't celebrate holidays, you're still amazing, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna tell a story time with this on my head because it's my channel, <laughs> and I'll do what I do. In the future, I'm gonna come back to this video. I'm gonna look at it and be like, what? Why? So anyways, back to the story. So basically, I went to Noel and I was supposed to see my friends. My friends were supposed to come see me. Um, and I was with my friend Hannah and her sister's friends. And we went to go to the DIA when we got there. It was so hard to park. Like, it took like an hour to park. So we finally parked. And we walked all the way to the DIA. Went into the DIA, which is the Detroit Institute of Arts. And we went to go see Monet. In the Monet, exhi Monet exhibit, um... <clears throat> My friend Hannah, you know Hannah, um, her sister's friend told us, that they were like, you better stay with us because people are getting kidnapped out here. So we stayed with them and we didn't wander off, thank God, because if we wandered off, something could have happened to us. Like, we could have got shot. We were in the Monet exhibit just looking at art and then we went to the church exhibit, more art. And then something was up, like... After we were like goofing off and stuff, like drawing subscribe to Yaz TV on papers and putting them on the walls. Like after all that, this little kid and these two little kids were crying. Cause we were in the gift shop, like that was like the end of the exhibit, we were in the gift shop. So these two little kids were crying, they were, they were like hugging their parents in the corner. I'm like, what's going on? Like, are they okay? Like, y'all okay? And then I see people's faces, they were all like, like everybody's whispering about stuff and being weird. And I'm like, what's going on? There's these two old ladies in the corner too, and they're like on the phone, they're all like whispering and stuff. Everybody's whispering, like, we, the exhibit's over, y'all have to whisper. You didn't have to whisper in the first place. So I'm like, why are these suspicious at people whispering right now? Somebody come up to me and they were like, we're on lockdown. Lockdown? The only time I hear lockdown is when there's a shooter. And yes, there was a shooter. I don't know why I'm talking about something serious looking like that. But anyway, so I don't know if the shooter was inside or outside of the DIA. My heart, I was like, like, I literally started crying. I was, I was like, started crying. And then Hannah started crying because I was crying. Everybody was just, like, scared. I thought there was just going to be people with guns just coming up shooting everybody down. I didn't want to see somebody die. I didn't want to die. My heart was, I was so scared. We were in lockdown. There was a freaking shooter outside. I didn't know what kind of shooter it was. Like, if they were just shooting one person. Or if they were mass shooters, if they had bombs, I thought this place was gonna blow. Like, you know, like, in that type of situation, like, you don't know what's going on, you know? They don't tell you, they're not like, okay, so here's the exact information about um, what's happening right now, you're gonna be fine. That's what people always say in those type of situations. You're gonna be fine, we're gonna be okay. The world today is not okay, it's not safe. <laughs> I didn't feel safe, even though we were in the building, like, anything could happen, so I was scared. But before I left, even, like, I had this heart-wrenching feel. I had this weird feeling. So I was like, something's about to happen tonight. I don't know what's about to happen, but something's about to happen. So I'm texting my mom. She answered. I was just making sure everybody was okay, you know? So, yeah. Then we got out. By the way, I was on the news, though. I was on the news. The news walking out of the DIA. I was like, Ugh. So I was like, you know, I got famous on the news. You already know he has TV on the news. All the people that got shot, I think they're okay. Everything's okay. That's basically the story, so. Merry holidays. So yeah, thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment below, even comment about my crazy hairstyle. That's cool to comment about. You can comment about how weird I am or how funny I am. Am I funny? What else?
got to say. Share this video with your friends. Be like, dang, she kind of got a crazy hairstyle. So I'm going to send this video to my friends. Be like, who is this? Let's get to 80 likes. I don't know. That's a stretch. 80 likes? Mm, I don't know. All right. Love y'all. Bye.